Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about some news I recently found out about the TV show The Nevers. Now, really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with what The Nevers is, it is an, I believe it was an HBO show. I don't think it was an HBO Max show. Uh, basically, it was a, this kind of period piece kind of science fictional series where basically in a Victorian era, there was this event that happened that led to all, mainly women, but some men as well, but it was like 95% like women and a few men got abilities and it kind of turns into almost like this x-men thing of like what should we do with this these women especially at a time where women didn't have rights so it kind of turns into that kind of has a little bit of that x-men feel to it but it was a really interesting show that was created by joss whedon the show came out in like 2021 obviously that was after the ray fisher you know what he said about joss whedon i don't know if all the other allegations and what people have said about him came out at that point either but either way the show was not well received um, it was a situation of like, I mean, I think just in general people, some people just didn't like it, but I'm sure the Joss Whedon of it all played some role in it. I felt weird watching because I'm like, eh, Joss Whedon, but he created a show. He wrote like, some, I don't know if he wrote all of it. I know he directed some episodes, but it's also like, right, there are other people involved with the show. And I personally really, really liked the show. Well, the show only aired its first six episodes because the season got split. And yeah, like I said, it was like March of 2021. I think I looked at it recently where the uh, six episode aired so it's been nearly uh, at this point it's been over two years since uh the show originally um aired and we got no uh updates about the other six episodes in the second half of the season well i randomly got a google alert uh that uh recommended this article from polygon i'll link to it in the description down below that actually tells you the fate of those episodes because obviously hbo specifically hbo max warner brothers warner's discovered has kind of done the whole cleaning the slate of hbo like a lot of stuff that was up there is gone now because it's like cut costing tax stuff yada 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 we know you know you know the rigmarole now but nevertheless the nevers is on that same vein it's like right still hadn't heard anything about part two well based on this article i read uh, once again i highly recommend you read into it because it kind of breaks everything down is that apparently you can find the episodes on tubi tubi is a free streaming service it's an ad supported free streaming service you don't need an account but the interesting and complicated thing about the nevers is that specifically tubi has like a streaming like block of like okay you can you can look stuff up that's streaming all the time but there's also kind of like a networking almost like a like a tv channel of like yeah like things are coming on in blocks apparently the six episodes of the nevers that like basically seven through twelve are there they're in those blocks they air at a very specific point in time so basically you have the it's kind of a roundabout way to track down the episodes it's there on tubi but you have to watch very specific time frames and knowing when to check in i think you need an account for that aspect of it you won't get charged for it, but i think just to utilize that or maybe to keep your place or i don't know like because i know my sister has an account has a Tubi account? I don't. So I, I don't know if that how much of a real difference that makes. But I thought that was such a fascinating because I'm like this show just kind of got tossed to the wind, you know. And now it's like even if, if I was hoping like okay maybe we get the back half of the season and maybe we still get a season two. I mean, granted, it all seemed unlikely considering like the storm cloud that the show was in. For, for once again, it wasn't that well received. But once again, I don't know how much of, I know some of that was just people didn't like the show. There's that. But I think also you can't discount the Joss Whedon of it all being a major cloud over the show as well. Well, like I said, it's such a bummer because without spoiling it, because uh, I'd have to rewatch it because it's been a while. But the show went super deep into the science fictional angle because by episode six, you're like, wait, this is almost a completely different show because it changes the entire context of the show at that point in time. And I'm like, dude, I'd love to see it for one where the rest of this season go but especially like where the rest of that show would have gone given the opportunity i know you'd have to change the creative force behind it maybe for some people that would have been better just because even for those who didn't like it, it's like hey having a different creative mind behind it helps i mean also getting joss whedon well he was already no longer part of the project when it was originally like it was he was they were still in the middle of i think production when he left the project so so having another creative mind, I'm sure, might benefit it in those other regards. But I don't see anyone jumping on, like, the opportunity to grab up this series. I don't know if 
Tubi has also the first six episodes. I know you can find them on Amazon. You'd have to pay for them. Obviously, they're not up there for free. Like I said, it's not on HBO Max anymore. So I think buying them on Prime digitally might be, um, maybe it's on iTunes as well, but I think digitally would be the only way you can get these episodes anymore. It's just kind of a crappy situation. It's just such a, I had to talk about it because I was like, this is such a fascinating, I've, like, because I know shows that have gotten canceled, like obviously pulled before, like even their full seasons of air. Sadly, that happens a lot more than you think it would. Uh, a recent example of that, it's not recent, it was a couple years ago, but I talked about this maybe a few, like maybe two or three years ago. There's a show I watched called Time After Time. It only aired its first maybe five or six episodes, and then like the show was canceled, and they never aired the other six or so episodes. Well, I watched it a couple years ago on uh, the CW Seed because they had all 12 episodes. So it, it's kind of a similar situation to that. Now, I'm not recommending this, but if you, like I said, just quoting the Polygon article, I can't stress that enough. I'm not suggesting you do this. The Polygon article is like, yo, because of the whole Tubi situation, nobody's actually going to, like, even those who are dedicated wanting to see the show, you'd have to be extra dedicated to kind of go out of your way to, like, watch Tubi at a very specific block point in time to watch the, the, the back half of that season. They were basically like, oh, if anyone was interested in the show, they would most likely have to wait for someone to, like, digitally rip that and put it on because it's like oh it's for free scattered around there on the internet i'm not saying you should do that trying to find the show like the back half of this uh show for free on the i'm not telling you that i'm just referencing what the polygon article said i cannot stress that enough i'm going to keep reiterating that i am not recommending you go try and torrent or like uh like get this for free i'm just saying they're saying like yeah the most likely only opportunity is for anyone to watch it will most likely be somebody going out of their way and doing that so that other people can end up watching it too I, like i said it's just such a like such a fascinating situation and using the time after time example i am curious will the nevers ever end up in that spot i mean who would want the rights to that show? Because, I mean, you know, I mean, you never know. I don't know if, like, the CW would go out of way to, I mean, for one, they wouldn't be able to anyway because it was an HBO show. The sex, nudity, some blood and violence. So, like, yeah, the, the CW would get skirts up in line, but it's like, you would have to censor those episodes. And I don't even know how, like, you would have to do some pretty heavy censoring for that show just because, once you know, so... There's very few places that could pick that show. So if it like if any show network was going to pick up that show, it would have to be a um, streaming service. So like I don't know if like but once again I don't like that show probably does has so much around it. Like I don't know if anyone would even bother being like, oh we're Netflix, we're going to buy the rights to that show or Prime Video or Hulu. I mean that's how Disney can get around getting them is do Hulu. But I'm like. That's the only options I see, but it just feels like, yeah, the show's like, whatever episodes we get is all we did. And like I said, the, the show being in the situation is, it's such, like I said, fascinating, fascinating situation. I just, I, the moment I read that article, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And I just, I wanted to make a video talk about it. Once again, I'll also reiterate it. Uh, I highly recommend if you're curious about it, just kind of reading a lot of stuff. Like maybe you never checked out the show, and I don't remember if the article really contains spoilers about the season. Maybe it does, but if you're unfamiliar, like oh, like my little rundown of the show, you're like I'm really still not getting what the show's about. I think the article goes over the show a little bit more, and once again, a lot of the um, complicated stuff around the show. But uh, yeah, I will highly recommend you check out the article once again. Uh, link to it in the description down below. Really, that's all I wanted to talk about. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.